Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. Now in today's video, we're doing a tool review on something that was sent to us from Matco Tools. Now I need to throw this out there. They did not pay me for this video. All they did was send me the tool and they asked for my honest opinion. Whether it's good, bad, what the pros and cons are. So make sure to check it out. So this is the kit from Matco Tools that we're going to be talking about today. It's the newest ball joint press kit that Matco has. The model number is BJP XR9 and this is the starter kit meaning it comes with the more common adapters and there are more that you can purchase. Now the kit comes in its own blow motor case so it's easy to store, it's easy to take with you or move it around the shop. Got a handle on it, got some locks. Now when you open it up Inside, we got kind of a breakdown of the parts of what should be in the kit. The instructions are real vague, so nothing real spectacular in there. And then it goes over to a different language. So you really just got two pages. Just talks about how you can use it for anchor pins on rear brakes, or you can use it for U-joints. So really, this is nothing that we don't already know. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is right here. This is their ball joint connected adapter application guide. Now, the application guide is set up pretty easy. It's all based off of the make, the model. You also go into the year, whether it's the upper and lower ball joint. And it'll go into more detail as far as which one of the adapters you need. Basically, it looks like one of those little uh, application guides you see at the local parts store when you're looking up oil filters or air filters. Now, the kit comes with seven common sized adapters. Now, those adapters will fit up to 235 different models of vehicles. Now, if you buy the additional 18, that moves you up to over 600 vehicles that you can actually press the ball joints in and out of. Now the press itself looks like every other press that you've seen. It comes with the different adapters that would actually go right here into the threaded shaft and this special one right here. But we'll talk about this one in just a second. Now one thing you may have noticed already is if you look right here, you recognize those letters? OTC. If you buy a lot of tools, you know that OTC is a very reputable company. They make high quality tools. They make them for the manufacturers as far as their special tools. OTC is something I've been using for a long time. So yes, it is a Matco kit made by OTC. But don't think what you're thinking now. You can't just go over to OTC and buy it from them. No, it's licensed with Matco. So the only way you're going to get this style of press or this kit is through Matco. Again, it's made by OTC for them. Now the kit itself looks like every other ball joint press we've ever seen, right? You've got different adapters and you've got this C style clamp with the threaded shaft. That's what we tighten down. That's what we press them in and out with. Now there's one big difference over the old school version that we're used to seeing. And this actually holds the adapters in place. So you don't have to use two hands. They snap on. Let me show you how. If you look close to one of the adapters, you'll see that we've got a machined groove on the tool side of it. This is the side where the ball joint or the control arm is. This is the tool side that goes on that C press. That groove is real important because that groove actually mates up to this adapter. Let me show you what's special about this. Now on the adapter, we've got two screws on both sides. Inside we've got a spring and we've got a ball. Now it's that ball, that spring loaded, that locks into the groove on the ball joint press adapter. That right there holds it in place so it cannot fall out. So we've got one end of the tool that does this, and on the other side of the C-clamp, we've got the exact same setup. All we gotta do is grab an adapter, slide it in, locks in place, can't go anywhere. So all you gotta do is pick the selected adapters for your vehicle, Grab the adapters that go in it and actually snap everything together and there you have it. They're not going anywhere. They're not going to fall out. Now, Matco's not the first one to do this or come up with this style press kit. Snap-on did the exact same thing, but in my opinion, Matco did it better. Like I mentioned, OTC is not the first company to do this. Snap-on has come to market early with theirs. Instead of using the spring-loaded ball, they use something a little different. It's a retaining ring. You know, a lot of people I've talked to, the more they use it, the more the ring wears out and the adapters want to fall out. 
It's not a do or die thing. You can replace those retaining rings, but as far as a method of capturing or holding the adapters, personally, I think the spring-loaded ball is a better method. Everybody's gonna have a, an opinion, and it's to each their own, but nonetheless, when I'm comparing them side by side and seeing them, I like this method better. Now, for those of you that have used a ball joint press before, just like this old school 6530 from OTC, you know the struggles that I'm talking about. Having to hold those adapters in place while you're tightening up the screw on the tool. And you see why the quick release adapter on the new kit helps you out a lot, saves you in time, and again, aggravation. Now, for those of you who have never seen one of these kits or ever used one, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, the press itself probably weighs close to five pounds. Now, you're gonna have to adjust this screw right here to line everything up and snug it down before you tighten down on it to press the ball joint in or out, depending on what you're doing. Now, you've got a series of adapters here. One thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to try to hold these adapters in place. There's one. You may hold it up, you may hold it down. To the side, it doesn't matter. You're going to grab another adapter. Then you got to get another adapter for this end. And then the problem you run into is, I've now got to try to tighten this up. So you're constantly going to be dropping things. Now, it is doable, yes, but it is an aggravation. And if you can do anything to change that, that's much appreciated when it comes to a tool. So that's the struggle that we have with these kind of kits. They're not that easy and you're fumbling around. Now the press itself looks like every other seat press out there, right? We've already talked about the quick release adapter here and on the end. Now I've got a previous OTC version here. This is their more common old school 6530 is the kit that this one comes out of. Now if I put these side by side, you can already see there is a difference. We got a difference in depth here of two and a half inches. So the new quick adapter kit is already two and a half inches deeper as far as what we can work on. And also what I like to call the throat or the opening here is another half inch. So there is a difference in the overall geometry. We definitely got a bigger press here versus the old school one that we're used to seeing. So we've pretty much talked about all the differences between the old school press and the new one with the quick release adapters. Now there's one last thing I wanna talk about and it's kinda of important. And there's a couple of things that actually make a big difference when you think about this. First thing is, how is this gonna affect my wallet? And second is, how often am I gonna use this? And third thing is, is this a kit that I actually need to buy? We'll talk about each one of those. So the first thing you need to consider is price. That's the biggest question a lot of you have right now. How much is this gonna cost? Well, let's start with the old kit here. I know that they operate slightly different, so it's kinda of like comparing apples to watermelons, but I think it's justified to talk about. The old kit right here with 20 adapters, you're looking around $300. Now let's jump over to this one right here, made by the same company, but again, it works differently, and it's got the Matco tool sticker on it. The only place you're gonna buy this is the tool truck of the website. This one you can get on Amazon and different websites. Easy to come by, this one not so much. Price for this with seven adapters, $880. Now they haven't given me the price on the additional 18 when they come available. It's either gonna come in a supplementary kit or you're gonna have to buy them piece by piece. Now how does this compare to Snap-on? Here we're going apples to apples. Snap-on's about the same quality, same basic idea, form and function. It comes with 22 adapters. Price for that is around $730. That's a $150 difference. Snap-on says you can get five more adapters, they're an additional 300. So that's pushing up to a grand. So you're spending money on these updated kits versus the old school kits. Now, with the tool trucks, there's gonna be a markup, we already know. They're offering a convenience. They're coming by your place of business once a week. Second thing is they're giving you a way you can pay for this, either weekly installments or you can finance it. The other thing is when you've got warranty issues, you get on the truck once a week, you hand it to them, they do what they can to get it back to you as fast as possible or get your replacement. So again, the price does go up just because it says Matco, Mac, or Snap-on. Nonetheless, that's what you're paying for. Now the second thing I wanna talk about is how often are you gonna use these tools? Is it gonna justify spending the money? Ball joints these days usually come with the control arms. So 
you pulling this out on a regular basis is kind of not too too common a thing. Me, I may do ball joints once or twice a year. That's it. Back in the day, now it was real common, but they've changed the way things are built. They last longer. Now, if you work on heavy duty trucks like 4500 or 5500 series rams, yes, you may press some ball joints in and out. At that point, you may need one of these tools. Now, the third thing you need to consider is if I own this tool already, the cheaper one, right? If you've been doing this for a long time, you probably have a ball joint press. Should I go buy the newer one? In that case, I would probably say no. You've already spent the money. Yes, you've got the aggravation of using these adapters here because they just keep falling around and you're using two hands, but do you need to spend an additional 800 to do the exact same thing, even though it's easier? Because it's got the same adapters in here that you would have in here. So you've got two of the same tools. Yes, this one's better, but does it justify spending that money? I would say no. Now, if you want to sell this one, pocket that money, throw it in this one, great. Now, if you're starting out in the business, which one should you buy? Obviously, you don't need to spend a lot of money out the gate because you're buying a lot of tools. You don't need to go buy a $10,000 toolbox when you can buy a $500 or $800 one just to get the job done. You can spend that additional money on tools. Same thing. Do you go spend the $800 on this or do you spend the $300? If you're starting out, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, get this one. Remember, take the other two things into consideration. Are you going to be using it on a regular basis? However, again, think about all this when it comes time to buying it. Now, you're not lacking on quality. We already know it's a great tool. You just got to compare. Now, there's going to be the people that are snap-on fanatics that love their snap-on. There's going to be the Matco guys that love Matco. I'm not going to say one tool is better than the other. Just from my personal experience from seeing the tools and talking to people, I like the way this one holds on to the adapters. Doesn't mean that the snap-on tool is not good. It's something to take into consideration. So in the end, hopefully you learned a little bit more about this tool. Remember to take those things I told you into consideration when you're thinking about buying it. Now, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you have comments or suggestions about anything you saw in today's video, or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, please email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com, or you can leave something in the comments below this video. Also, if you like to shop on Amazon, please scroll down into the description of this video. There's a link there. Click on that link and make that your Amazon homepage. And anytime you buy something on Amazon, it'll help support this channel. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching.